Co says radioactivity and humidity in the number two reactor building are high, making work inside to bring the reactor under control difficult. Here's Johnny. Workers entered the building last week to measure humidity and gauge levels of radioactive substances in the air. The results show the number two reactor building's radioactive cesium level is twice as high as the cesium level in air not yet purified in the number one reactor building. The number two building is filled with steam and humidity has reached 99.9%. The high humidity means an air purification unit to low radioactivity such as the one used in the number one reactor cannot be used in the number two building. My mom always said Life was like a box of chocolates. In order to cool the spent fuel storage pool that's believed to be causing the steam, TEPCO will put in place a heat exchanger as early as Tuesday to establish a cooling system. We believe it important to lower the humidity with the heat exchanger so our staff can actually work inside the reactor building. But TEPCO does not know how effective the system will be, so it may take a while before it can install the purifier to lower the radioactivity level. You never know what you're going to get. TEPCO has been slow in checking workers for internal radiation exposure at the damaged plant. Internal radiation exposure can occur from breathing in radioactive materials or from eating radioactive food. Radioactive substances penetrate the cells of the body. As a result, exposure could continue for a long period of time until the radioactivity is discharged from the body. The power company began internal checkups on March 22nd, 11 days after the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. It takes about a week to get the results. Internal checkups are given priority to workers who have been exposed to more than 100 millisieverts of radiation externally. To date, less than 40% of the approximately 3,700 workers at the Daiichi plant have received checkups for internal radiation exposure. I think I'm entitled. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Internal exposure cannot be detected unless tests are conducted using special equipment called whole body counter. TEPCO uses four devices to measure internal radiation exposure. It plans to introduce five more devices in July. TEPCO has a duty to ensure that workers are not exposed to more than the emergency limit, but it looks as though it has been exceeded in some of the workers. The workers say they're ill-equipped to protect themselves from internal radiation exposure. <laughs> Experts say their exposure levels need to be monitored closely. The operator of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says two workers may have been exposed to radiation exceeding the legal limit of 250 millisieverts. One discovered naked in the kitchen, breast smeared with peanut butter. The police took away a bag containing 15 grams of cannabis resin. It may also contain a quantity of heroin. Or a pork pie. I beg your pardon? I said the bag may also have contained a pork pie. I hardly see a pork pie. It's got anything to do with it. All right, then. What about a large turnip? It may also have contained a big turnip. Tokyo Electric Power Company said on Monday the two are in their 30s and 40s who have worked in the control rooms of the number 3 and 4 reactors. Tepka said a test has detected 9,760 becquerels and 7,690 becquerels of radioactive iodine from their thyroid glands. The levels are more than 10 times those of other workers. 
The company said that you have been exposed to external radiation of 73.71 and 88.7 millisieverts. TEPCO said the combined reading suggests they may have been exposed to radiation exceeding the legal limit of no shit. 250 millisieverts for workers at the Fukushima plant set after the accident. The utility said the workers have so far claimed no health problems, but that they will receive detailed health checks at a specialized medical institution. We can't level you crazy asshole, we're in advertising! So his company rewarded him by putting him in a mental facility. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has suspended some of its outdoor at work to stabilize the plant because of a tropical storm. The firm is also working to ensure that radioactive water in the plant does not flow outside as the level rises because of rain. A tropical storm has been dumping rain on the Fukushima plant since Sunday. Weather officials say more heavy rain and strong wind could be on the way. Tokyo Electric Power Company has stopped the spraying of chemicals that prevent radioactive dust from spreading. It's also considering suspending the removal of debris. The company has piled up sandbags to prevent rain from getting inside electrical facility buildings and interfering with cooling of the reactors. It's moved away three vehicles with long arms that are used to inject water into the spent fuel storage pools. It's also secured a giant storage barge to the quay. The company says the level of highly radioactive water in the basement of the number one reactor building has risen nearly 20 centimeters over 24 hours through Monday morning. It's trying to ensure that contaminated water doesn't escape into the sea or groundwater. I see dead people. Japan's leading opposition parties are trying to bring down Prime Minister Naoto Khan's government. Members of the Liberal Democratic and New Komeito parties are planning to submit a no-confidence motion by the end of the week. Khan has been facing strong criticism over his response to the ongoing crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The parties confirmed their decision on Monday during talks between their Secretary General and Diet Affairs Chief. Liberal Democratic Party Secretary General Nobuteru Ishihara says LDP leader Sada Kazu Tanigaki will decide the timing of the motion. But he says Tanigaki wants to coordinate with the new Komeito party. New Komeito Secretary General Yoshihisa Inoue has agreed to consult with his party members so the motion can be submitted jointly. Both the opposition parties agreed to grill Prime Minister Khan in Japan's diet on Tuesday and Wednesday over his handling of the nuclear crisis. They also plan to call on other opposition parties to back the no-confidence motion. Under the Khan administration, it would be difficult to further proceed with the reconstruction of the disaster areas. Given these circumstances, we are determined to make the Prime Minister take responsibility for his failings and take charge of the reconstruction effort. Meanwhile, Khan's ruling Democratic Party is preparing for a fight. It has decided to punish party members who break ranks and vote in favor of a no-confidence motion or boycott it. DPJ Secretary General Katsuya Okada said the Democrats will unite against the motion. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. 